What's up guys, Carlo here, and I'm with Sean. Hey, say hi. Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please do check it out. One of the channels that I also follow every time he uploads. I don't do that a lot, by the way, so that's a... Wow. That's I just a... want you to know that I watch you every day. So. I, I am humbled. I am so, humbled. So if you guys watch my content, I really think that you guys will enjoy his content as well. So check it out. So for today's video, we're going to do something different. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, to, to do, take like two shoes. Like maybe a New Balance sneaker and then an Adidas sneaker or a whatever sneaker. And then we will have to pick which one that we prefer the most and then say why. Love it, man. So that's the beauty of not being part of any team. So Because <laughs> you see influencers say they're like, hashtag Team Nike or, Check silver stripes. or hashtag Three Stripes or whatever. So we don't have a team. So <laughs> we just wear the sneakers. Yeah, so, Everybody's happy. Uh, yeah, so that's what we'll do for today's episode. Let's go. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe to both of our channels. We will be announcing a new giveaway at the very end of this vlog. So make sure that you guys watch until the very end so you can be part of our latest giveaway. We're going to give away, well, I'm going to give away a shoe. You're also giving away one a pair of shoes, a shirt, and a cap. So yeah, so make sure that you guys are subscribed so you don't miss out. So for the first choice, so again, please please disregard the color. It's really more of the silhouette and the, the design or the, the feel of that particular shoe. Let, so, let's go wide. Let's let's go with uh, the umbrella, not the specific. So for example, if I show you this Jordan 1 Defiant Couture, I'm not asking him or myself to pick between the Jordan 1 Couture and another shoe. Picking between the Jordan 1 and whatever the other shoe is. Okay. Yep. So for the first comparison or comparison or picking which one, uh, what which one do you prefer? A classic Jordan 1? Or of course, the more newer, hipster, trendy Yeezy Boost 350. So, Sean? Uh, that's a tough question. <laughs> They're I, both so nice. <laughs> I am a classics guy and I'm a hype guy. Let me explain the hype, okay? Um, there's this human tendency to want what is difficult to acquire. Yeah. The Yeezys have that. And when you have something that is difficult to acquire, you almost immediately have status. Yeah, I know. The guy mean. has money, the guy has connections, the guy got in line, he wants the sneaker, he got it, he's a cool dude. Not all the time, but nine times out of ten, yeah. that's the case. If, if you're determined, if you want it, you have it, right? With the classic, however, you can never you go wrong with Jordan. You have this, you know, the, the history. The history. And with sneakers, Carlo, when it comes to sneakers, I judge it by how it makes me feel. Yeah, I know what and, you mean. And and sneakers, especially the Jordans, they make me feel something else, man. Yeah, they, they just, just take so me timeless. back. Time, you can wear them anytime, anywhere. You can be 60, 70, 80, and the Jordans are still gonna look good. So, a tough one here, but this is about just picking one. I'm going with the Jordans. Okay, so at least we're going to have a bit of a difference in opinion. Now, That's why I love now I think, sneakers. Yeah, I think the Jordan people and Nike people will crucify me for this. But ultimately for me, it, it also boils down to the function and how comfortable it is for me. Jordan ones are not good for people with wide and flat feet. Yeah. Period. I mean, it, it's uncomfortable. It can get painful at times, especially if you wear it at an extended period. So I wear them if it's like short bursts. But for example, for traveling, you will never see me uh, rocking a Jordan 1 for an extended period of time. Which I can't say for the Yeezy Boost 350s, they're just super comfortable. They're like hotel slippers on your feet. So for this particular uh, well, battle, again, it's really, again for me, it has to be comfortable for me to wear it. So I'll have to go with the Yeezy Boost 350. Yeah. So the next battle, you have the Pegasus 36. This is the newest one. I have actually worn this just once. Uh, uh, so I haven't broken it in as much, but I did own the 35s and the 34s. So I have a good uh, experience with the Pegasus line. Mm -hmm. And of course, we have the 990 V5 from New Balance. So Sean, which one? Though obviously, someone yata which one? Okay, um, I'm going with this. Uh, I don't even have to touch the 36. <laughs> I also have a 36. Comfortable. We we all get that. But at 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 the Carlo, I've never held a shoe more and held it in my hand and looked at it and stared at it more than any other sneaker than my 990 V5. I have to it's agree. A, it's a really nice shoe. It, it's a nice shoe. It's it's unconventional. It's not for everyone. It's, it's an ordinary looking dad sneaker. But what I get here is uh, the, the limited status. It's made in the USA. Not a lot of 
Th there aren't many pairs produced. Yeah, most of the shoes now are either in Vietnam or uh, China, China, Bangladesh, Indonesia. Not that those shoes are bad, but um, what, what I get here is heritage. And they're just so well crafted. Yeah. Okay? And a part of the reason also is that the Pegasus, they're, they're on the walls, they're everywhere, they're gonna hit the outlets for sure. Uh, a dime a dozen. Yeah. Um, seldom do we get an MIU in the Philippines. So that's probably my main reason. Uh, not as deep as you would expect, I guess, but it's a reason nevertheless. Yeah. For me, uh, again, maybe on two points. One is very similar to yours on the heritage and the story uh, and the fact that it's made in the USA. But number two, this is friendly for people with wide and flat feet. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's really the right amount of stability and cushioning. You know what I mean? Sometimes because too much of a good thing is bad. For example, if you wear Ultra Boost maybe for like 20 hours, it actually becomes bad because yeah. it becomes mushy, right? I know what you mean. Yeah. So this one, you wear it all day, zero foot fatigue because it gives you support where you need the support the most, but at the same time, it gives you cushioning where you need it the most. Yep. So that's why I absolutely love the 990 uh, V4s even before this came out and even the V3s. Uh, and that's the reason why I couldn't help myself in picking up the V5 when it came out. And the V4s, man, you have two V4s, yeah. I know. And because it's the 1982, I couldn't pass it out. I was born in 1982, so... I'm still all over the place. I need the haircut, yeah, but anyway, so... <laughs> and I can keep that there. <laughs> so, but yeah, so I, I super, super love uh, the 990. So, for example, if you see me traveling, chances are I'm wearing one of two shoes. Mm -hmm. It's either the Presto React, or no, not the Presto React, the Presto Off-White OG, because it's the ultimate hype slash comfortable sneaker mm -hmm. or the 990 v4s back then which will become the well the v5s mm -hmm. so again v5 for me v5 for sean yay next up is something that i think is pretty interesting because we get a lot of requests on the channel for us to compare the two so this might be a way to do that so um which is better for you the ultra boost from adidas or the nike epic react this is the phantom react so it doesn't have laces but just imagine in your head that this is like the epic react line-in. So which of the two would you pick? Boost all day, baby. So ultra boost over the react. Now, I don't have a phantom, I don't have an epic. In fact, these sneakers, the Nike epics, even the Odysseys, I would consider, I would put those in the category of sneakers that, I've, that I kind of like, but will not buy. No, I, uh, that that category is very familiar to me as well. Yeah, you see a lot. Eh? Yeah, Car Carlos turn. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch, ko wala mo siya. Whoa, wala mo siya, bro. Miyak na siya. Pinayak mo siya. May feelings to bro. Kamag alala. Oh, oh yeah. di ba? Well, ako is also what kaya ni Carlo. Well, One more time. Actually, I haven't worn it too. Kina mo. And how many times have you worn the boost? Oh, like a lot. Uh, battered and bruised. Yeah. And loved. Yeah. So well, for me, I, I'm actually going to go also with the. Uh, with the Ultra Boost over this one. So I actually did videos before comparing the two. Uh, I just felt that the React was geared towards more, I don't know, like performance running, not even eh. Parang it's not a soft eh. It doesn't give you the same cushioning experience. Yeah, but even the energy return is it's poor. Not yeah, yeah. Parang kanyari, if, if, I were to, if I were to work out or run, I'd pick like the Pegasus pa nga over this eh. Yes. In terms of the overall quality and support that I would get, I'd actually go for that one instead of like a React shoe. That and the React is super not friendly for people with wide and flat feet. Pegasus so. is phylon with zoom inside. Yeah. yeah. So that's why the, the mix of the support is exactly. solid. Yes. But again, it goes back to that too much of something can be bad. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, but but I love that. No, this one is nice. I, I'm, I'm not comparing it, but just to say that there are nice React sneakers or React sneakers that I love. This is the Proto React. I, oh, sige, ayaw niya talaga eh. Pero no, no, gusto I'm, I'm gonna backpedal a little bit. Uh, the React is not a bad technology. <laughs> But we are blessed with Boost, and uh, how, could, how could you pick React over Boost? <laughs> well, mali mo, they're like die-hard Nike fans. The, motiv <laughs> the motivations for buying a sneaker, brand loyalty, status, need, I get it, I get it, but yeah. I, I'm team nothing, so... <laughs> that's a good, that's yeah, a good. Yeah. Kasama ako sa team nothing, by the way. <laughs> so, ako, I picked the Ultra Boost uh, for versatility. Uh, the overall build, the style, mm -hmm. uh, and on a more emotional level. I used to weigh like 430 pounds. The, my first Ultra Boost got me down to under 350. So, I mean, there's that emotional connection yeah, definitely. to the Ultra Boost that I have. So, I'll always pick the Ultra Boost over any other 
performance sneaker. So yeah. Next up, we have two Jordan sneakers. So Jordan 11s or Jordan 3s? Uh, this particular Jordan, the snakeskin low? No, just the, the 11s in general. Tough man, man, you, you're giving me a tough one. The three. <laughs> I not, don't even have an answer in my head yet. Not, not specifically the the, the tinker. Yeah, uh, just the, just the three the in the general. Three. So it's more of a silhouette comparison than the actual colorway that we have. That's tough. And and what's good about this is there are a lot of good elevens and a lot of really good threes. That's tough. So both are classics. Yeah, and this one also has cat hair. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> you want me to start things off while you're thinking? You first. <laughs> so between the two, uh, oh. between the two, uh, wow, yeah, it's kind of hard. See? <laughs> hmm. And we're talking about one will stay, one must go scenario, okay? Yeah, well, if, if, if I have to pick one and just one, again, I will default on which shoe is more comfortable. For me, personally, I'll have to go with... Mmm! <laughs> hmm, they're both nice on feet, eh? They're both comfortable. I love the support of both. They're both kind of friendly for people with wide feet. This one a little bit more friendly. Uh, because if you take a look at the base, it's kind of wider mm -hmm. versus mm -hmm. the 11s. But I love the arc support that you get with this one. I don't know if you guys see this carbon plate over yeah, here. Yeah, the Jordans this, have that. Oh, this is plate. really nice. Oh, man. Ah. You know what, I'll just go with, just because I have more of a particular silhouette than the other, I'll go with the threes. Yeah. But it's a very shallow reason and it just edges out the 11 just because I've seen more designs of the three that I like. Probably, yeah, I'll go with that. Perfect, and that, that works, man. If you're in a crossroads, you yeah. go with values and your history and yeah. your emotion. I'll probably go with the three. For the, the history of the three, it's the first shoe that Tinker designed. And Tinker went on to become the greatest Air Jordan designer ever. So I'll go with that. Tinker designed this also. And Jordan, when Jordan came back from retirement, he wore the 11s. So a lot of history there. But uh, I'll go way back. So I'll go with the threes. So next up, we have two classic sneakers. So this one, don't just take out the off-white. It, just think of an Air Force One, okay? Carlo doesn't have ordinary, <laughs> ordinary guy classic sneakers. We have, we have, uh, we have, we have, we have white Air Force One. <laughs> what is the first one that I could see? So we have the Air Force One, and then we have the Eras, right? From yep. Vans. So which one would you pick? Um, okay. uh, this is really hard, by the way. Well, for him. <laughs> we're, we're going with the, we're going with the umbrella, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Vans era, not necessarily the Commonwealth collab. collab. And the Air Force one, not necessarily the Off-White collab. Because if we're going exact pair versus this pair, I'm going with the Off-Whites for the price point and for the height. Pero, um, okay, for the sneaker itself, I'll probably just go with the Air Force one. <laughs> yeah, probably me too. Air, I'll give you one reason to go with the Air Force one. This also came out in 1982. Yeah. Year. Anyway, Air Force one, they're both classic sneakers, right? But... Uh, for versatility, um, wide feet support. Yeah, so yeah, I, I can even ball in Air Force One, and, and I've done that, and uh, it works. I love the era. I love Vans, but we're talking about pick one, discard one. Here between the two. Yeah, yeah. AF One. I'd probably go also with the Air Force One because that's like the easy answer. Uh, but I just want to say that uh, this one is really nice. Oh, no doubt. No I doubt. mean, um, I've had Suede, no? yeah, and I've had a couple of Van sneakers, even the Harry Potter Van sneakers. My all-time favorite right now that I wear is this particular Van sneaker no, of all the Van sneakers that I have. Because I don't know how they built it, but it's just so comfortable. I don't oh, know yeah. if it's the insole, uh, but yeah, it's not their ultra cush tech. No, that's just the uh, it's just original. Really yeah. nice, and it's it's hard for me to find Van sneakers that are comfortable for my feet. So I'll, I'll leave it to that. So this one, again, not, not just because the Air Force One is my favorite. I just want to stress that despite this one being my favorite sneaker, this is still pretty good. You win either way. Yeah. Going back to Jordan. Jordan Palo is fun, no? Comparisons between the... F fun and not fun, because it's hard. Yeah, but so anyway. Once again, Jordan 1s, Jordan 3s. Oh, man. <laughs> um, I have the answer in my head. But it's a hard answer. You Never do this. Okay, I, I think I'll, I'll go with the three. Shallow answer because with the threes, I can lace it up to a point where I can uh, slip in and out of it without ever untying the shoelace. 
With the Jordan 1s, it's just hard to get into sometimes. You'll have to loosen it up significantly. So slipping in and out, practicality, comfort, and quick and easy access, Jordan 3. I'll go with the Jordan 3 as well, again, for the comfort and the cushioning. But does it mean that this is bad? It's still a I'm, nice show. I'm just saying. Yep. Yeah, okay. A lot of people hate it on the, the Coutures, but I, I actually like this pair. I don't have a pair, but yeah. I kind of like this. Yeah, it's one of those shoes that uh, I felt I was the only one who liked. Oh yeah, you know? there's two of us now. Because <laughs> parang they, they, they were complaining about the creasing. Yeah, they were complaining about the red mark. Yeah. Para sa akin, the crease actually makes it look better. Eh? It comes with a and, and the black territory. and the black glossy leather actually hides the crease when people are looking at it from a different angle. Mm -hmm. You you are you're the only one who sees the crease if you look down. Exactly. But because of the glossy black, if people look at it from a certain angle, it actually doesn't show. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm I'm happy that people pass on this because I was able to get it less than retail. It's one of those things. Boom. Okay, guys. So at this point, we'd like to announce the, the giveaway that we're doing. So again, we're going to give away two sneakers for you. Mechanics, very simple. Number one, you have to subscribe to my channel. Number two, you have to subscribe to Sean's channel. The, the links to both channels can be found down below. Now, after that, you have to leave a comment on this video and whatever video that we come out with for the next week. So those are seven days. So what date is it today? June 30. So we will draw the winner June 9. Uh, no, June 8. So at least you have one seven you have seven days to be able to like, you know, join. So every video that I come out with, every video that he comes out with in between that period, if you leave a comment and if you're subscribed, it's one entry. Okay, so if you leave a comment on every single video that we come out, then you have more chances of winning uh, the raffle. Okay. Simple. So we have two sneakers up for grabs. So I'll join I'll I'll throw in what I have first. So this is the Vans Double Taps Blue Flame Skate High Sneaker. So it comes in this really nice box. I'll pop it open. I actually got this from Commonwealth. I only wore this once. That's nice. So it's uh, actually doesn't even look like I wore it once. <laughs> Still very clean. Uh, it does have some cat hair though, so you'll have to <laughs> clean it a bit. But yeah, it's a really nice black blue flame sneaker that's from in collaboration with Double Tap. Size 12, but hey, if it doesn't feel, fit you, then give it to somebody who does or sell it, whatever. So that's the first sneaker. And, you? and the other sneaker will be an Air Jordan 32. Um, it's a size 10. If it doesn't fit you, take it anyway. Give it to your loved one. Comes with uh, comes with the receipt. Comes with everything. <laughs> comes with a tissue paper. It's still new. It's still new. I've worn this. Ah. It's got the crumples on the midsole, but man, look at that beautiful sneaker. I've worn this what four times, five times on a wooden court. Um, it's a uh, it's an Air Jordan that actually works because the 33, to my opinion, sucked. <laughs> this one has the flight speed, so that's the one with the thingy, right? The eject to whatever the 33. Uh, fast fit. I, I yeah, didn't like yeah. it. Also, so, I one of one of the worst reviews I've ever given to a sneaker. 33. It is what it yeah. is. I, I hated that sneaker. That's the beauty of being team no one, by the way. Yeah, we can we get to be honest. Yes. Okay. So you, you get a chance to win this too. Okay. So guys, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel, both channels. And yeah, make sure to leave comments uh, from here until whatever video. Oh, and please include your IG handles when you leave a comment so it's easier for us to contact you if you win. That's the so way. we will be posting the winner announcement video on June 8th. Eight. So guys, that's it for the vlog. Sean, thanks again for coming on sh on the show. Always a pleasure to be <laughs> on here. On the channel. Thank My you, thank brother. you. Thank check, you so much. Check out the video that we also did on his channel where we talked about what sneakers you would wear during a zombie apocalypse. Yep. Uh, I'd love to hear from you guys on that video, so please hop on to that video as well and let us know what you would wear during a zombie apocalypse. That would be a very interesting discussion. <laughs> no so doubt. that said, that's it for now. Peace, God bless. What's, What's up? up? Boom. Boom.